Welcome well guys, my name is Jay Kwan. If you are a brand new subscriber, welcome to my channel. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you for your loyalty. So as you guys can see, as I was, I'm now going to be taking a break, just a little, little tiny break uh, from the reaction videos. And I'm just going to be talking about story times as a lot of things are starting to take place in my life at this moment. Um, for the last few months, things have been taking place and I just haven't really been telling stories about it or doing story time. So I just, I'm always just, I always pre-record and it's just at a time where I just don't have the time to make a video. But now I have the time. I got off work early, so now we can tell the story. So we're just going to get right into this. So if you follow me on Instagram, you saw that I posted this. Just, it's going to get posted somewhere within here you saw that i posted that okay and i posted that on instagram due to the re on my story and i posted that to the reason because i don't understand why guys either in a relationship or guys that are looking to get a shorty shorty means a female like to get into a relationship have to feel not intimidated is not the word it's um what's the word now um not in sense. Yo, why did the word really just insecure? Insecure. Why do guys have to feel insecure about me or all those type of stuff? Because if you really had an issue, you should not be feeling insecure. So you can just read that right there. It's right here. I'm not going to read it because I don't have it in front of me to read it. So on two days, yesterday, actually, I was at work, okay? I started a new job and I was training. If you follow me on social media, you know what job that was. I was at work and I'm training or whatever. And I had a really good night the night before. And I, I was I had a really, really good night. Enjoyed it. Stuff. If you saw, if you follow me on the gram. Pardon me. If you follow me on the gram, you saw that. So I'm there. And I get a call. If I'm at work. And I get a call. It's from this shorty. We're going to call her... Tanera. Let's call her Tanera. So I get a call from Tanera on Snapchat. I'm like, Tanera, why are you calling me? Like, just, just like, call me. You have my phone number. Just call me. Tanera calls me back again. So I'm like, what the hell? And I hear a guy voice. And then Tanera calls me back again. It's a guy voice. So then I call back on my phone number, okay? And it's Tanera's mind telling me, um... He didn't say disrespect. He didn't say why you disrespecting me. What did he say? Today I'm not good at my words that start with I. Uh, why are you insulting me? He kept saying, why are you insulting me? Why are you insulting me? Why are you insulting me? Clearly, you, I get. I don't know if he doesn't speak proper English or what's really good, but that's what he was saying. I just kept saying that over and over and over and nothing else. So... The man says that. Why you insult me? Why are you insult me? First of all, I'm like, what? Like, where are you coming from? Where is this coming from? Like, this is so sudden. Like, I don't even know what you're talking about. So I put two and twos together. The shorty had called me before on some stuff that he had done. And I gave her advice. So what had taken place is that my girl called me because her man would... Um, promise that he's going to come see, there, see her and either not show up or only show up for an hour. Okay? Now, I don't remember what I said because this was a long time ago. Like, this was a month and a half ago. But I guess because he's insecure, he went through our messages. You know how these insecure, childish people be nowadays. Okay? And especially when they're controlling, you know? I don't know. I, I don't know. Okay? I mean, just, I'm just talking to things. So, tell me how my guy comes and I'm, I'm assuming that's what he's talking about and i'm pretty sure i'm right that's what he was talking about is that i insulted him i don't remember what i said but see if she told him everything that took place within that phone call as well because i called her right after i didn't just text everything i called her so i could hear what's really going on i like to call people so i can hear the emotion in their voice and why they're really upset we facetimed and I told the shorty, after she's telling me her side, first of all, if you're telling me all bad things about a guy, like, of course, I'm going to have bad things to say as well. Like, if you're, as my friend, that we've been friends for around six to seven years, okay, and you're telling me something bad, then I'm, of course, going to have something bad to say or something not so nice. So, okay, 
cool. I don't remember what I said, but I said it. And I'll own up to it. Whatever I said, I said it. If it's if you can show the screenshots to show that I said it, then cool, I said it. But if you can't, then I'm just going to say I didn't say it. And I'm not sure what I said. So you're going to come and tell me that I said something. And the issue is that you had a problem that I said something. But your shorty came to me to talk to me. I didn't come to your shorty and ask her, yo, what's really good with you? Like, I didn't come... So your shorty confided in me, right? So I didn't say anything. So you can't say that that's my fault. You shouldn't be calling down my phone because of your shorty. And instead of me coming at me sideways, like, why did you insult me? Why did you insult me? You could have just came to me properly and I could actually told you while going because I told your shorty that you just got to talk it through with your man and figure out what's really good because if that's what he's doing, then that's not okay for him to be doing. It's disrespectful because there's no point in you coming anyways if you're just going to pull up for me on an hour. Tell us, Shorty, after you tell me all these things, of course I said more, definitely did, but this is what I know I said for sure, because I say it for everybody. You need to go and talk to your person, whoever you're talking to, which is this guy, and we're going to call it the guy Drew. You got to go talk to Drew and tell Drew that, Drew, da 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 we need to talk about this and this and that, and it's not cool, and I'm not okay with it, like it really hurts my feelings. Simple. Have that conversation. But let's get down into it. So my guy calls me, and I get upset because you're saying the same thing. Imagine a person, somebody saying the same thing over to you over and over and over and over and over and over and over, and they're not explaining themselves. So I go off. I said, any problems that you, and you, first of all, don't call me, okay? Don't call me. You have a problem with your shorty, don't call me. I don't even live in Ottawa anymore. Tell me how this is taking place in Ottawa, and I'm all the way in Toronto, okay? The guy lives in Gatineau, okay? Gatineau. I live in uh, I live in Toronto. The difference is five to six hours, okay? So you cannot tell me that you're putting me in in your problems because I don't even live in the same city, as you can see for that message that I posted. And I said, any problem that you have with your shorty, you need to take it up with your shorty, not me. I was there before you were, so you're not going to come and disrespect me. You're not going to come and talk to me any type of way. Now, I can see that you really just went through your girl's phone to find out all these messages, and I guess she allowed him as well because I came to find out that she allowed him to talk to me any way that he wanted to talk to me. So my guy's running his mouth, and I'm talking my things, and my guy's like, um, I call, told him that he was childish, and I told him that if he wants to be controlling, and I said, do you want to be controlling? Do you want to be controlling? And I wanted to make sure that he got that answer, because clearly my girl, Tanisha, whatever I called her in the video, let's say change her name to Tanisha now. Tanisha was there sitting, and she was listening. That's disgusting behavior. Disgusting. Are you not ashamed? Like, are you not embarrassed that you knew what took place and your man is calling me to tell me, ask me why I insulted him, but you know why I insulted him because you are the one that came and fed me with all the negative things about him for me to want to insult him if I really insulted him, right? Since he felt so hurt. So my guy's running off his mouth and... He's telling me, I told he's childish and all that. He's like, oh, come say it to my face. Come say it to my face. So you're a big man. Come say it to your face. First of all, who do you think you are? Because I sent him a message and asked, who are you talking to? Because you called me twice and you messaged me. So clearly you're really insecure that you did it that many times. Who do you think you are? I want to know. Who do you think you are that you can tell me to come pull up to you that I'm going to pull up to you and pay to come see you to come tell you to your face that you're childish. But I'm telling you on the phone that you're childish and that you're immature and you're controlling. But I'm telling you to the phone, but you need me to come tell it to your face. So you're looking for a fight. That's what you're looking for. You're looking for a fight. Well, guess what? People that are classy, they don't fight. We don't fight around here. We don't put our hands on other people, okay? I don't know where you came from or how you, you were raised, but you're looking for a fight, and I don't fight. And the shorty's allowing him to want to fight her friend and family friend of, what, seven years? You're okay with that? So my guy's running off his mouth, whatever. The man blocked me off of her Snapchat. Okay, cool. 
my sh and then I come to find out. First of all, I'm an influencer on Instagram. As an influencer, you get sponsors and you get stuff like that. So I have an app that what is given to me that shows me who blocks me, who mess, who um, deletes their comments, um, message like messages that are deleted. Like I, I, I can see everything. So I can see photos that you um, that you who my popular likers are. Like who likes my photos the most? Who likes my photos the least? My ghost followers. I can see. Um, I, as I said before, who blocks me, I can see who follows me, who doesn't follow me, I can see everything. So I see that my girl blocks me on Instagram. First of all, I called a shorty the next morning, hoping that the guy wasn't around. So we don't know. She said that she was alone, but you know, you can't trust shorties nowadays because they're trash. Clearly just like this one, trash, garbage, disgusting behaviors. So I called the girl and I'm like, yo, so your man disrespects me. I've been having a rough time and this is the, this is what you come with, okay? You, This is the baggage you come with. I don't even live in the city and you allowed your man to disrespect me. And I was like, did you know your man called me? Yes, I knew your man called me. So I asked her, did you know that your man called me? And she said, yes. So I was like, you didn't even call to apologize, nothing. Nope. Just like that, no. So you were sitting there listening while he was talking to me yeah i was there oh okay so you allow your mind to disrespect your friends Pre right yeah that that's that's what she's showing and i just i told her okay you're a great person it's cool to know you um uh, it was nice knowing you but i want nothing to do with you if that's the type of character that you have and i told my girl that I was, because I was really about to pull up to her yard, like, the next time I was down, like, I'll pull up to her yard, or we can have a conference call, and we can call somebody from your house, your auntie, your mother, and we can talk between the three of us, since if you, or I can just tell whoever, and you, they can just pass the message on to you, because one way or another, you need to hear my message. And if you don't want to hear it because you blocked me and everything, then I'll just pass it along to somebody else. So we do all that, whatever. She does all that. I call her. And my girl didn't say sorry. She didn't apologize for his actions. She allowed him to do whatever he wanted to do and disrespect me and talk to me any way that he wanted to talk to me. And then, um, it's like, I'm calm now. I was really mad, like, for the last, like, 24, about more than 24 hours, probably about the last, like, 32 hours. I was really upset, and I've calmed down now. It takes me, because I don't know what I'm, the thing is, I don't know what I'm capable of when I'm upset. That's the problem. And it's just a good thing that I wasn't in Ottawa, because the type of people that I know nowadays, like, I'm not saying that I have bad company, but I'm just saying that I know somebody from each different type of tribe, and, you know, like, I could have really done something that I would have regretted. And I'm glad that I had people to calm me down. I really talk sense. But, like, my girl, that's how you're really going to do someone that's been around for you for seven seven years. Seven years, that's how you're going to talk to me. And, like, she said much worse. But the thing is, is that I'm so relaxed and chilled right now after being mad for so long that I think I just don't have the energy anymore to be that upset. Now, let me tell you how this girl's character is disgusting and dirty. You're going to tell me that you knew that your man was calling me and you were okay with that. You didn't come on the phone and apologize. I asked her if she was embarrassed. Over and over and over, you should be embarrassed. And I asked her if that's the type of character that she wants to give off. That's your character. You're okay with your man doing that. Yeah. Okay. Okay. But you weren't going to reach out, right? Cool. It's just convenient how you didn't block my phone number, but you blocked me on everything else, right? No? So I just wanna say like, if you guys wanna know who she is, I don't have any problem disclosing who she is because I have nothing to do with her. I have no ties to her. Oh, I forgot one part. This shorty is beg, okay? The shorty's beg. My girl would text me and be like, oh, can you do me a huge favor? Like, yo, can you run me $10? Like, oh, can I borrow $10? You're always asking me for money. Do I send it to you? No. 
but you're always asking me for money because you're a bank. But you see, yo, this my girl's just a disgusting behavior. And this might be a really long story time, but this is like just, we just day after event at this point. Because my girl has a real disgusting behavior. And it's nasty. And that's how you treat your friends that have been around you. That's how you treat people. You switch up your word and that's how you go on. That's how you talk. Okay. Just know. Don't, I hope she don't come near me. Don't look in the same direction. My guy, Drew, <laughs> just stay away from me. I want nothing to do with you. Because I don't know if you're, I don't know if you're trashy or how you get down. But I don't fight. So you're saying come say it to your face. I don't fight because I have a representation. I have a brand that I need to represent. And I don't do those things. I'm also grown and mature. And my parents taught me to use my words, which I'm doing now. And I used my words and I called her back the next morning to explain to her why I was upset instead of acting upon my actions, right? And I waited until I called her to make this video. But the thing is, what's so funny is that you are so quick to text me when you need money, but when your man did something wrong, disrespect, pardon me, disrespected your friend and made you look like, like you made, well, he made you look like shit and you made yourself look like shit and you're okay with it. You're not embarrassed. You're not embarrassed. I'd be embarrassed. I live six hours away from you and tell me how I can I don't understand how you can be, I, I can make you feel so insecure. If I wanted, I told him over and over, I was like, your shorty likes you. I don't like your shorty. I never did like your shorty. Like if I wanted your shorty, like I could have done that over the years that we known each other. Like wh why would I do that now? I don't get it. What's the point of doing it now? I don't, I don't want your shorty. So I don't understand why I make you feel so insecure, but, and I'm just over it. And that was like the topic on the cake because I don't know all the time why guys always have to feel like, listen, and it's since I hit, like when I hit like around 6,000 followers that this has been happening, 6,000, 7,000. I'm a humble person. Instagram is nothing but a number and opportunities. So at the end of the day, those opportunities and things do not define me as a person because I'm very humble. I earned my way to where I am, okay? I earned my way to where I am. Every dollar, every trip I go to, I pay for that. You see my rent that I'm in right now? You see this place that I'm in? Moved to downtown Toronto, looking at the CN Tower as my view from Ottawa? I paid for that. I pay the bills by myself. I pay my rent. So you can't come to me and say, oh, I'm not humble, that I'm the same person, never changed. Never changed, haven't changed. Still humble. I check up on my friends all the time. At least one to two times a month, if you're my bona fide, you will get a checkup message from me. If you don't get that message, then I just think that we don't talk as often anymore and I was doing the only reaching out. So I stopped talking to those people that I was doing the only reaching out. They don't hear my name because it can't be like that. I And she was one of those people, like she would never check up to be like, oh, like actually ask like, how are you doing? You know what I mean? Like, I still talk to you, ask you how you're doing ever so often, but I never got that from her. And if all those people that I don't get those messages from, like, how are you doing when I ask you or you just check up, but you want to come visit me and stuff like that. You know, those people that say, oh, I'm coming to Toronto, we should link up or the ones that get mad at me when I don't link them in when I go back to visit. But it's like, why would I go back to why would I link you when you, you you don't even message me while I'm here to see how my upkeep is? Because God forbid anything happened to me, you wouldn't know. And we're supposed to be like best friends or close or whatever we're supposed to be, right? So take this shorty into account. Friends, we've been to friends for seven years or whatever, family friends. And you let your man disrespect me. You're okay with it. You just want to drop it just like that. I said, I asked her on the phone, do you have anything else to say? And I asked her twice. I made sure before I answered the call, I woke her out of her bed this morning and I said, Wipe your eyes and we can talk. Of course, I didn't say it that nice. I was very, very disrespectful on the phone this morning, but I did not disrespect her. 
I was disrespectful in my tone, but I did not disrespect her because I don't disrespect people. So comment down below if you want me to drop her phone number because I'll drop your phone number. I will drop her phone number. All you got to do, don't even comment down below because I don't want them to see how many comments I get. All I got to do is just DM me on Instagram. My Instagram will be all around and I will drop her number or I will drop her Instagram name because my girl's a idiot and I don't understand where you thought that that was okay. And I don't usually do videos like this, but the thing is, is that I want people to learn from my mistake. And here's what my mistake is. You can't be friends with people that are not checking up on you, on your well-being, but when they need something, they're around to ask you. So when you needed money, you're around to ask me. When you're having troubles with your mind, you're around to ask me. But those, when, you, I, when you're having troubles in your relationship at all, I'm there to, I'm, you're there to ask, I'm there for you to ask me. And I'm giving you a response. I'm here to help you when you're going through something rough. But if it was roles flipped, are you were you going to be there? Or, but you were easy to just walk out of my life just like that, right? You didn't even call back or anything. Like, I didn't block her until maybe a few hours ago. You didn't even call me back. Nothing. Nothing at all. Cold-hearted human being. Because you want your man. The man wants to fight me over, over for what? He wants to fight me because of stuff you told me. Right? Does that make sense? Honestly, this was just like a rant video. Um, and yeah. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching my rant. If it's long and you watch the whole thing, thank you. Appreciate you. But yay. Oh, it's my god. You don't know what I'm going. Subscribe, follow, comment, do all them things. Follow me on Instagram and Snapchat for you to keep up to date on what's really taking place. And yeah, you don't know what I'm going. To my guy, I wish you the best of luck in life. And if you really think fighting is going to get you anywhere, it really doesn't. You should learn from your lesson. It doesn't get you anywhere. Um, neither does going out of situation disrespect will get you anywhere as well so you should fix up on that and for the shorty i don't wish anything bad on you but i also don't wish anything good on you because clearly you're waste so i wouldn't waste wishing anything on you because you're waste but i hope you do well in life i guess or attempt to do well because i don't know you're not really doing well now so if you're letting your man talk to you like that or treat you like that. But every woman deserves to be respected. Every woman deserves to be respected. But that's okay. You don't know what I'm going. Shaboom.